With all solar options, people who go solar are likely to save money and help build a healthier planet. Which solar option you choose is dependent on what works for you. By the end of this video, you'll know the differences between community solar and on-site solar and the benefits of each. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can stay updated with our latest videos on clean solar energy, policies, and community solar. Hello there, I'm Eric and welcome to Going Solar with Pivot Energy. In this channel, we'll cover everything that you need to know about solar energy, commercial solar, and community solar. While both on-site solar and community solar reduce reliance on fossil fuels and save you money, the most significant difference between on-site solar and community solar is eligibility and what you need to produce solar energy. First off, on-site solar requires a sunny roof space and property ownership. You can think of this as the classic rooftop solar, which means you have to have the roof or land to install the system. Without it, no solar energy for you. However, with community solar, you are simply subscribing to an off-site community solar array and receiving the solar energy virtually, just like how you subscribe to Netflix. You pay your monthly fee, and in return you get shows and movies. With community solar, you subscribe to a community solar garden and receive a certain amount of energy each month. Community solar gardens are large solar arrays, 500 kW to 10 megawatts that are typically ground mounted and located in a local utility territory. Because this system is off-site, the subscriber doesn't have to worry about whether or not their roof is suitable for solar. They don't even have to worry if they own their roof. Getting your solar energy from a community solar garden opens the doors for renters, condo owners, businesses leasing buildings, or buildings that are not suitable for solar due to shade or roof space. All of these types of customers can now benefit from solar without having to install an on-site solar array. Also, community solar is convenient for organizations or businesses that have a high energy load and limited space to host an on-site solar project. Sometimes with an on-site system, the amount of space on their property can make it impossible to produce enough energy to supply the entire building's energy needs. With community solar, since the system is not on your property, you can subscribe to any amount of electricity compared to your building's usage. Easy peasy. If you want to learn more about Community Solar, check out our video, Community Solar 101, after this one. The video is linked in the description below. The next main difference is how you pay. This is a good one. For an on-site system like solar panels on your roof feeding your building's electricity needs, there are costs of equipment and installation which typically require some sort of financing. That said, there are options that carry no upfront cost. You should check out our video on how to finance your commercial solar energy project. That video is also linked in the description below. However, with community solar, the subscriber is only paying for the power produced by their share of the solar project. There is no upfront cost. Let me repeat that again for the people in the back. There is no upfront cost. No cost of maintenance, just the cost from the electricity produced from your subscription to community solar. Now, rooftop or on-site solar does provide greater financial returns than community solar because you save more on your electricity bill and generate more long-term savings. That said, community solar provides consistent monthly savings compared to what you are paying for electricity today. Either way, you're still saving money on something that you wouldn't have without participating in a solar program, and it's clean energy. Okay, we know the community solar is relatively new compared to rooftop solar. So we'd love to hear in the comments whether you've heard of community solar before and if you prefer rooftop or community solar. Now on to the third difference, which is convenience and flexibility. Community solar is much more convenient and flexible compared to an on-site solar system. If you want an on-site solar array or solar panels on your roof or property, you need to have a roof in good condition or land available for the project size. Then negotiate agreements with contractors to install that project. Once the on-site system is installed and activated, the owner, or you, will be responsible for the long-term operation and maintenance of that system. While these costs are typically low as the panels do not require routine maintenance, it does put the solar project owner at a bit of risk. With community solar, you can sign up digitally. And because the system is off-site providing electricity to you virtually, there is no installation process or cost, and no maintenance to worry about. I know, that sounds too good to be true. Also, 
Try to move an on-site solar array from one building to another is too costly to be beneficial. But since the solar array will likely raise the resale value of your building, it is best to keep those solar panels where they are when you move and increase the resale value of that property. Community solar is much more flexible when you move. If you move within the utility territory, you can transfer your subscription to your new home or building. And if a business or resident moves outside of the utility territory, they can typically cancel their subscription by giving notice to their provider. Community solar is therefore a much easier way to start using clean solar energy in your home or business without any investment or upfront costs. That said, on-site solar can provide much greater financial returns if your site, your home, or your building is a good fit for solar. Lastly, both of these options reduce our reliance on fossil fuels and lessen greenhouse gas emissions. Whether you go solar with an on-site system or subscribe to a community solar array, you are making a commitment to a cleaner and brighter future for our planet. It's a win-win. If you want to dive deeper on how solar energy is good for the environment, check out our other video, What are the environmental benefits of solar energy? It's also linked in the description. When it comes to choosing a sustainable energy program, you can't go wrong with a community solar subscription or an on-site solar project. Our team at Pivot Energy has combined decades of experience in the solar industry, and we'd love to help you benefit from solar in whichever way is best for you. If you're interested in a community solar subscription or bringing an on-site solar project to life and want to see what it would look like for you, our team can help you navigate the policies and programs in your region to provide the available options, give financial guidance, and either build the solar project of your dreams or subscribe you to a community solar array. It's natural to have questions, so get in touch for a free consultation. Our team of solar experts are happy to discuss the ways that solar energy can work for your business. Also, my email address is listed below in the description, so don't hesitate to reach out. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned about the differences between community solar and rooftop solar. The future of the planet is in our hands. If you're passionate about clean energy and want to stay informed on solar energy development, give our video a thumbs, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell so you're notified when we post new videos. Every week, we post videos on the basics of solar energy, solar energy for businesses, community solar, and all the different ways you can save money and benefit the planet with solar energy solutions. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.